A Turkish general died of a heart attack in the combat zone of the Syrian province of Idlib, the Turkish Defense Ministry reported on September the 9th. According to Turkish state media, the general started to feel bad in the combat zone and was evacuated to a hospital. However, he died despite doctors' best efforts. Afterwards, his body was moved to the Turkish province of Hatay. The announcement came just a few days after the Syrian army and the Turkish armed forces exchanged strikes in southern Idlib. Pro-Turkish sources on social media immediately became pretty active, arguing that these developments and the death of the general from a supposed heart attack are not related. Later on the same day, the Russian aerospace forces conducted a series of airstrikes on positions of the Turkish-backed terrorist group Hayat Tahrir al-Sham in the western countryside of Idlib. Earlier, Russian airstrikes pounded positions of Hayat Tahrir al-Sham and its allied terrorists from the Turkestan Islamic Party in the vicinity of the town of Kabani in northern Latakia. Both waves of airstrikes hit weapon depots and fortified terrorist positions. Pro-government sources, as always, claimed that these strikes were a pretext for a new Syrian-led ground operation in Greater Idlib. This scenario remains unlikely. The more realistic option is the further development of Turkish-Russian cooperation in the field, with the intent of finally creating a real demilitarized zone along the M4 highway and enforcing the withdrawal of radicals and heavy weapons from it. In this light, Syrian sources say that a few more heart attacks, targeting Turkish officers who are sabotaging the implementation of this deal and thus directly contributing to the Turkish campaign to defend terrorists hiding in Greater Idlib, may have a positive impact on the situation.